Hey, it's Ted here. I'm working on this uh, SX lower unit, trying to get it apart and uh, soaked it for three days. Tried uh, working it back and forth the carrier. We thought we had it going back and forth pretty good. I was working with my uh, lab assistant, Paul, here. Well, we didn't make out so well, so I'll show you what, I, what we've got going on in here. So, big persuader, settling torch using the special tool and a big breaker bar trying to get it out pounding on it trying to work it back and forth thought I had it coming out and uh, not so well didn't work out so well so this is what we got so, kind of broke. it's kind of falling apart there's a seal I was trying to change here's a race Here's part of the carrier. There's another part of the carrier. And the rest of it is frozen in the housing. And it's not coming out. So I'll give you a, a little look in there. Almost as if the case had been distorted, I'm not sure, but I'll shoot you down in there and you can take a look. Yep, so ultimate failure, not a good day. Now I've got another use case and I'll do is cut this one in half, just take and cut it down and hit it with a hammer. It'll break the whole housing apart and then we can actually use what's left of the inside, the shafts and the gears. We'll have to replace the bearings and stuff, but. All right, so at least got the shaft out and uh, we'll keep going from here. Just one I wanted to show you, sometimes it doesn't work out. You know, you try to get things apart and salt water just tears it up. All right, we got the saws all out. We uh, went in here and cut the case right on down through that carrier. So finally got the pieces out of there. So now I can get in here and take the pinion nut out, and pull the gears out. We'll get another uh, another case. I got a used case, and we'll just put everything back together, clean it up, and uh, life will be good. But you can see really the reason why I had to do this is this is just totally welded itself to the case itself. The whole inside of the case is just all corroded in that one area. That O-ring had failed and when that O-ring failed it allowed salt water to get in here. I heated this thing up as you can see. I mean almost to the point of melting the case. I got it really really hot on both sides and uh, I've run into this a few times and you know you win some, you lose some. So if you like this one, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one.